Let's solve circuits with series and parallel resistors. Here's the first one. We have two resistors, two ohm and three ohm connected across 10 volt battery. Our goal is to find the equivalent resistance and the voltage across this resistance. How do we do that? Well, first let's identify what kind of combination this is. Well, I see that these two resistors are in series. How do I know that? One way to check for it is to see if they're connected end to end, but a better way to think about it is to see if the current through them is the same. Series resistors have the same current through them. Pal resistors have the same voltage across them. How do I check whether they have the same current? Well, what I do is I imagine throwing some charges, moving some charges from here. Imagine some charges flowing from here to here. Now, if all, if, now all I have to check for is whether all these charges flow through this resistor as well. If they do, then I know the current from here should be the same as the current over here. And turns out that's exactly what's happening. The charges, whatever charges flow from here to here, all of them have to flow over here because there's no way, nowhere else for them to go. So the current here and here is exactly the same. Therefore, these two are in series. And I know the formula for my series combination. What is that? When resistors are in series, the equivalent resistance is just adding them up. So in our example, it is going to be two plus three. So that's going to be five ohms done. Okay, next up, what is the voltage across this resistor? Well, isn't it 10 volt? Why don't you pause and think about it? Is it 10 volt? If yes, why? And if not, why not? Here's how I like to think about it. I like to always name some points over here. Now I know that the voltage across A and B, that is 10 volt, okay? Now, as I move from here to here, there will be no loss of voltage. There will be no loss of energy because we're assuming there are no resistors. That means whatever is the energy here, same as the energy here. So this point is A and same is the case over here. So this point is B. And therefore what we now see is that since the voltage across point A and B is 10 volt, the voltage across these two points is 10 volts, meaning the voltage across both of these resistors together, that is 10 volt. But what we are asked now is to find the voltage across R1. That will be less than 10 volt. So how do I find that? My go-to method is to always draw a reduced circuit. So let me redraw this circuit with the equivalent resistance. Here we go. Look, I have replaced these two resistors with one equivalent resistance, five ohms. And I know that the voltage across that, that is 10 volt. Since I know the voltage across that and I know the resistance, I can use Ohm's law to find the current. The current is not asked, but I can find the current. So I'll first do that. That's my method. So I'll find the current. So for that, I'm gonna use V equals IR. So I know V is 10 is equal to I, which I don't know times R, I'm applying it for this circuit, okay? And so from this, we get I as two, 10 divided by five, two amps. So I have now find out, found out what the current in this circuit is, two ampere. How does that help me? Well, once I have found out the current in this circuit, I will go back and I will now say, well, if the current in this circuit is two ampere, the current in this circuit must also be two amperes, right? Because the current through the battery must be the same. So it's two amperes here as well. That means the current flowing through this resistor is also two amperes. And the current flowing through this resistor is also two amperes. Now I know the current and I know the resistance. Can I find the voltage? Again, good idea to pause and see if you can find it. All right, so I'm gonna use again Ohm's law. V equals IR, current is two, resistance is also two. So the voltage here now is going to be I two times R and that's going to be four volt. So this is four volt. Now it's not asked, but what would be the voltage across this resistor? Same thing, V is equal to IR, I is two, R is three, so two times three is six volt. So voltage across this one is six volt. And look, look, the add up to give you 10. That's exactly what we wanted. From here to here, the total voltage must be 10 volt. So it makes perfect sense. So what's really happening is that as charges move from here to here, they're gaining 10 joules of energy per coulomb. Remember, voltage means joules per coulomb. So charges gain 10 joules of energy per coulomb. As they go from here to here, they lose four of it. 
And then as they go from here to here, they lose the remaining six. They go to zero, they come back, they gain 10, and that continues. Let's come to the second one. We have three resistors connected across 14 volt battery. Again, our goal is to find the equivalent resistance and the current through the seven ohm resistor. Pause and try first. Okay, so to find the equivalent resistance, our first question is how are these three connected? Are they in series? Well, to check if they're in series, we have to check whether the current through them is the same. If I send some charges over here, will all of it go here? No, because some of it will get divided. So clearly these two are not in series, neither are these two. Okay, are they in parallel? To check for parallel, we have to see if the voltage across them is the same. And to check for that, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did over here. I'm gonna draw my A and B. So this is A, this is B. If this is A, this is A, because there is no energy loss, no resistors in between. Similarly, this is also A, this is also A. And if this is B, this is B, because there are no energy losses in between, no energy losses in between, this is B, no energy losses in between, this is B. What you find is that, hey, they're all connected across A and B. So the voltage across all of them must be exactly the same. 14 volts, 14 volts, 14 volts, 14 volts. So they are in parallel. So how do I find, what is the formula for parallel? Well, I know that one over RP, the equivalent parallel resistance is one over R1 plus one over R2 and how much ever you have plus one over R3 and so on. So in our example, it would be one over 14 plus one over seven by two, which becomes two by seven, plus one over seven. And if we take the common denominator of 14, I get one plus multiply by two on both numerator and denominator and multiply by two here. So I get four plus six, so six, seven, seven by 14. Um, this goes one times, this goes two times. So the answer is half, right? No. Remember, this is 1 over RP. 1 over RP is 1 over 2. So RP, I'm going to write over here, RP is going to be reciprocal of this. So that is 2 ohms. So we have found the equivalent resistance of all of these three together is 2 ohms. Okay, next step, we need to find the current through the 7 ohm resistor. Why don't you pause and try again one last time? Okay. To find the current, I first ask myself, well, do I know the voltage? And the answer is yes, I do know the voltage because the voltage across this is the same as the voltage across this, is the same as the voltage across this and this. So I know the voltage is 14 volt. That's directly given to me. So this is 14. I know the voltage, I know the resistance. So what's current? Well, I can use V equals IR so I will be V divided by R. So let's just write that down. I will be V divided by R, Ohm's law. So V is 14 divided by R is seven. And so that gives me two amperes. So there you go. The current through the seven Ohm resistor is two amperes. Similarly, you can find the current through this and this yourself.